Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Azizul. Um, I have a question to Dr. Zaini. Um, in your studies of the literature, did you find any reference that relates to the conflict between inner cells and outer cells, if I may use that term? Um, uh, or, or that's question number one. Number two is that uh, do you associate um, misery uh, in a form of conflict between oneself, inner self and outer self, in the sense that you have conflicts between your senses and perhaps your, your, your belief or a set of values that you uphold? Yeah. Um, as far as the inner self and the outer self, I'm not very sure what does that mean. I'm sorry. If you have a conflict between values and the virtues that you hold, ah. yeah, if there's a conflict, does it equate to a form of misery that one has to suffer? Ah. Yeah. <laughs> the val uh, yeah, 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 that's very interesting. Thank you. So I go back to the question of Husni, values and virtue. By the way, you know what, and, uh, some, for some people, the word virtue can be a bit uh, confusing. Uh, the word virtue, another meaning for the word virtue is the merit. Merit. In gold, there is an inherent merit to it. There's value in gold. That's why you put value to it. So somebody asked me the same question three weeks ago. Professor, what's the difference between values and virtues? Okay, I said, Dr. Hanafi, I like you because you're a person who speaks the truth. Therefore, you only hold to things which are true. That is your virtue. You like to speak the truth. You like to listen only to the truth. You associate with people who only do truthful things. The value in our friendship is because of that. Otherwise, there's no value. Therefore, the same way, you cannot teach values to people. You can only inculcate virtues. And that's whole, the whole project of the Greek paideia. The, the whole idea of encyclopedia <laughs> is to inculcate knowledge, bring about virtue. It's not to teach values. Values is something that exudes from you being virtuous. Unfortunately, English translates virtuous as somebody being religious. <laughs> Try to change because the word virtue is really medi medieval. Talk about, does he have merit? <laughs> now that's something, right? You see, the English word, the virtuous woman, is a woman who's, yeah, you, <laughs> virtuous woman, a woman who's still pure, yeah, right? And the, does the woman have merit? Meaning, can she really be a good wife, a spouse? The man, does he have a merit? Rather than just virtuous, because, you see, this is why when you limit meanings, habits, it's all gone. So can you have conflict? No, definitely not. So this is something else that the Western society developed because they, I think, you see, they abandoned the psychology project. After Freud, they all start to divert to what is called behavioral science. And therefore, you have a conflict between your own internal value as the values of the society. See? You start to develop that idea. Oh, therefore you talked about individual differences and talk about your individuality. In Islam, we don't have that thing. Your individuality is only your, your weight in your amal. That's it. But today we talked about these things because we create artificial values because we don't create this thing called merit. And this is why the Greeks had it right. They talk about the four cardinal virtues because that is really the value of a man or a person, of a human being. Does he have wisdom? Wisdom applies to, at the very basic level, is the merit of the intellect. Isn't it? Do you have courage? That is the merit of the heart, which has to do with appetitive and the desire aspect. And do you have temperance? That is the control of the low desires, the lower self. So if you train people to have this, then we have a calmer society. Do you, and, and finally, you have justice. Justice is very interesting. Professor Latas is saying it's the only, it's the only virtue in a way previously does not have 
any extreme. But today it has been wrongly interpreted to mean justice is equality. You see, equality you think is making everybody the same. In actual fact, it is an extreme move. Because each one of us, the only individuality that we can admit, Quranically speaking, men and women, that's it. That's it. The rest are all equal because the quality of a person, what is the quality of a person? It is these four cardinal virtues. And from there you exude values. You live by those values actually. Yeah? Wallahu alam. Thank you. Zakmullah khair. Please, uh, one question.